This weekend's fishing forecast is brought to you by Montauk Tackle Company. Hi, this is Captain Al Lorenzetti for SkimmerOutdoors.com with the weekend update and fishing forecast and report. Uh, this for the weekend of August 21st, Saturday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, because it looks like that's when the weather's going to get good. <laughs> Uh, let's see, inshore, not a lot different to report. A lot of uh, bottom fishing is very good. A lot of blowfish, believe it or not, kingfish, um, some triggerfish still. I mean, right here where I am in Babylon, in, this, in the uh, bay, anchor up, put a chump pot down, catch a pile of kingfish and blowfish. Uh, same thing in the sore thumb, fishing's good. Back around by Crazy Charlie, the Spanish house, fishing also good, bottom fishing and some weak fish still in that back bay area uh, pretty much like an early morning thing on the flood tide uh, fluke fishing is really uh, real picky now there are still some fish around a lot of shorts a couple of keepers the best fishing I've heard is in deeper water now 80 feet 80 90 feet uh, both east and west of the inlet so you gotta search around when you can get decent weather. The wind's been blowing a lot, so now we're getting into September. We're well into September, a lot of wind, changing directions, north, then south, whatever, so you gotta play the weather conditions. So, you know, thinking about that, moving to offshore, it looks like it's gonna blow on Saturday. Uh, Friday doesn't look too bad. Saturday it's gonna blow. Sunday it's gonna start out blowing, turn around, come northwest in the afternoon. And then Monday looks like a nice day, west, maybe 10 to 15, seas 2 to 3 for the inshore, you know, the 23-mile forecast. Uh, so anyway, what's going on offshore? Uh, there are still big eye being caught in the Hudson. Now a bunch, you know, long fin mixed in, yellow fin uh, at night. A lot of guys are catching swordfish on the overnight trips. Um, and uh, I was going to say that also was a hot bite of bluefin this week. Uh, one guy on the troll and some behind the draggers had like 30 bluefin in the 60 to 75 pound class and you know when they're around there's always some bigger ones as well so that's in that like magic triangle you know the Coimbra to the Bacardi to Coimbra, Virginia, Bacardi, Martos 3, draw a triangle you know in that zone uh, kind of maybe where they were I don't know the exact position but it was definitely an inshore bite I heard one fellow 38 miles from the inlet, another one 45. So I can't put you on a fish, get in that area, search around, get on a troll, you know, check out the draggers and so forth. But I think, you know, when we can get out there in the ocean, I think it's going to be a bluefin bite, uh, and I think it's going to be excellent. I think you're going to see those bluefin come inshore. Right now, the bunker schools along the south shore are just massive, from Shinnecock all the way down to Brooklyn. There's nothing but bunker schools all along. There are whales in on them now, uh, dolphin eating them, uh, sharks, uh, all kinds of life on those pods. And when those striped bass start moving back from the east, we're going to have them on them as well. Uh, this past week I heard of a couple of fish definitely caught on the pods. Smaller stuff, mid 20 pound range fish, but that may be start to happen here any day. So we've uh, got a bunch of stuff to do plenty of fish out there, it's just a matter of finding the weather conditions to do it. So, you know, weekend might be a little tough, but all I can say is check the weather reports, and if you can go, definitely go, and there's fish to be caught. So, be safe, have a great weekend, talk to you next week.